Hey, welcome back. So um, this lesson we're going to talk a bit about the endpoints of, um, of the Angular full stack. So remember endpoints is the server side code. That means that we've touched Angular authentication. Now I want to also do it for the back end. So the front end is, uh, is all set for my uh, syllabus. Um, but now I want to do the same for the back end. That means that I want to make sure that you're not allowed to, from Postman, start doing crap in my database. Just start adding things you're not allowed to add. Now you should know that just out of the box, it's Passport, which is an which is an npm library that you can download for other projects as well. That's the main guy they're using here in the Angular full stack. Passport here and Passport local. That's how they set up your local uh, authentication that you start out by picking when you just uh, when you create your Angular full stack. So if you want to read more about Passport, you can just say. Uh, npm passport and they'll, you'll find a link. You can even say passport.js and you'll find information about that. I just want to put that um, in mind that that's actually the authentication guy behind all of this. But that's not what we're using. We're using something called auth service. That's a service that the Angular full stack guys built on top of passport. And we have two functions that are interesting. The one is authenticated and the other one is has role. So we can actually right now authenticate like we talked about last lesson, if you are the guy we expect you are, and we can also uh, figure out if you have, if you have the right role. Um, so that's awesome. And that's what we're going to use. And luckily it's really simple. It's really simple for us to add authentication as soon as we feel we're ready to add it. We might not want an authentication in the beginning because we've, we've not deployed this to live yet. So why waste our time having to lock in, I add tokens and stuff like that since we can just work with our endpoints without any authentication. But as soon as we're ready to deploy something, then it starts making sense. So the way I do it is I go under server, API, syllabus, and our index. That's why you do all the routes, remember that. And all I have to do is pretty much add this line right here saying, I wanna use the auth service file, the one that we just talked about, that has all the functions, like it's authenticated, has role, um, so I want to use that and I do that by writing dot 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 to get out a few folders and then auth to get into the auth folder and then auth service to get that specific file. Now I have auth available. Now the way that you secure your routes is saying what's the name of the route, route like we always did. In this case it's a get and it's the slash the root. Um, so this would say uh, something like this slash api slash syllabuses, something like that, right? And then it would be a get request. And what I want to do is before we go into the actual controller index file, before we go in and call this method, call this guy. And what he will go do is he'll make sure that you are actually authenticated to even get in there. So let's just save this and let's try and go to postman and I'll do a get. I'll do a get. There we go. On the syllabuses, let's just remove this guy, do a send, and now I get back information that you are not authorized. Okay. Before I add these lines, I would get the actual information back. Okay. That's awesome. And I could do the same with, with the rest of them. So this is all you have to add to tell people that you can't do this unless you are, um, you are authentication. Then we have another one here. What if I have the role of admin? So I'm authenticated, but you also have to be an admin to do this. You can't update, you can't destroy unless you're actually an admin. So just do this, auth has role. So this is like middleware. This is the ground that's executed before this is allowed, if that makes sense. So that's how you do it. That's how you add authentication. Um, I can do a put from the postman as well, just to show you that you're actually not allowed to do that either. So you're not authenticated there either. We can also go on the page here and we could try to delete this guy. Since I'm locked in as an admin now, I should be allowed to delete. Let's try and do that. Oh, it's gone. Happy, happy days. Um, so things are still working. We just added additional security to make sure that you cannot go in and destroy anything from Postman and you can either uh, you're secure from any client out there using your API. Let me show you one more thing we got from this. If I actually sign out now, log out, I'm redirected automatically now to the login page. So even though I go into course planner, boink, I'm redirected to the login page. So you don't get this 
error that you had before that when you log out, you end up on the same page and get an error. Now you actually redirect to login page because the response we get back here is not authorized. And if I go into that one, you'll actually see that the response, no authorization token was found. This guy actually redirects you to the login page automatically. End of story. Next lesson, we're going to add a bit to the owner one um, because we are crashing right now. See you next time.